It did put sports events in a different light, though, the Olympics. I thought it, it cast a bad light on football, on premiership football in the UK, I think. I have always granted this. I'd say football serves a valuable purpose, without doubt. It draws the poison from the high street <laughs> on a Saturday afternoon. Honest, decent citizens are able to go about their business, <laughs> knowing that the underclass have been lured into some vast keeping pen <laughs> on the outskirts of town, <laughs> where they are encouraged to focus their hatred and tribal aggression on one another for a couple of hours and <laughs> leave the rest of us in peace. It's extraordinary. You put half of them in different coloured shirts and they just go at each other like budgerigars and mirrors. It's fantastic. <laughs> I was taken to a match recently, Chelsea FC, in the southwest of London. A huge stadium full of grown men, all dressed in replica kit, wearing the names of their favourite players on the back, very much as my son will wear a Spider-Man outfit when he goes to see a movie of that name. <laughs> I went dressed as a grown-up. <laughs> in a nice three-piece Norfolk tweed, and apparently I was the one in fancy dress, judging from the way they were pointing at me. <laughs> And they were led out by John Terry, of course, who was standing trial at that time and was, a, was no longer England captain because he was awaiting trial for allegedly calling another player on the field of play in the BBC Three version an effing black C-word. <laughs> the irony is, out of that self-censored remark, the only word at issue was the word black. The rest was fine, apparently. <laughs> I've never liked John Terry for many of the same reasons I don't like skiing. Strikes me as vulgar, waste of money, likely to break your legs, and his eyes are too close together. <laughs> I'll leave you on that crossword, crew. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful festival.